Hindi. Do you want a pop cup? Do you want a pop cup? You don't know what a pop cup is, do you? Let's look at them there. Let's go get a pop cup. You've never had a pop cup. So Indy has never had a pup cup before and so I think it's time to remedy to that. And hopefully Starbucks is still open. I know it has been closing at 2, um, but I think because of, I think Starbucks is now open a little bit later. So we'll get a, we'll get a nice summery drink and, well I'll get a summery drink, he'll get a pup cup and I think he'll enjoy that. I haven't done... I honestly haven't done an indie video since uh, the toilet paper. Yeah, I think it was the I think that was the last indie video that I've done. So since quarantine, since we've been home so much, he's been a little. He's been fine. Like, you know, he's good. He actually, we actually had to take him to the vet for his like annual stuff, like his shots and and um, just annual checkup. And he was good he just was like like the rest of us gained too much I think we fed him too many cookies and treats during quarantine um, so he's about five pounds overweight which for a corgi can be problems you know they have such short little stubby legs that and their bodies are so big that it puts too much stress on their legs so we definitely needed to get him on a diet and I basically just cut his food in half that's all I did um, and he's actually you know, also giving him less treats. He still gets treats, but just less. And he's been doing fine. Um, the big problem came where um, he's actually lost. He's lost the weight, so he's good. I think he's he's at a good weight now. His the problem is more mental lately. He he had separation anxiety um, before before, and we had worked with him, and we actually got him to be pretty good like he would he would go into his crate and he would sleep for hours and he started seeing his crate as his like second home and he would love to be in it but then corona happened and so now he definitely has had the you know with us being home so much he's gotten his separation anxiety has flared up it's not as bad as before because before he would pee in his crate he would you know just be he just would just like lose his mind um but now he just drools a lot and like and he stress pants like i mean he's well i think he's panting right now because we just got in the car and it's finally cooling off um but yeah he would stress pants and he would you know if he sees that we were like really getting ready to go he just he he would just be so stressed and so yeah so now we have to deal with it again, but not on a level. I put him back on his hemp, hemp oil to see if that would do better, if he would kind of calm down. I don't know if it's really like second time around if it's helped. Maybe I need to just let it kind of get back in the system. Um, Cause he doesn't like, you know, sometimes people suggest like putting bully sticks or or stuff like that, but he actually will not chew his bully sticks or any of the harder chew toys in his crate. He he won't. He just won't. He'll eat cookies and he'll eat his food, but if it's like a bully stick, he will wait till we're home and he'll take it and he just saves it for later. What you doing, Bubba?
you like it. Well, I guess he likes it. I mean, it's whipped cream. I mean, what's not to like? I got the Java trip. Which is not bad. You all done, Bubba?